hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Mary and welcome to another craft day Wednesday where every Wednesday I post a new video in today's video I am just gonna be showing y'all something quick it's a little wagon that I made I was on Pinterest and I seen this a picture on Pinterest so um, I decided to give it a try and um, I did I'm switching up something I'm doing something a little different um, on here I just glued the, the I glued the wheels on this way but I'm gonna um, do something different so we're just gonna set this one to the side and I got this one so um, I went ahead and I'm you I took a spatula and I um, I cut the the spatula part off and just using the handle and I already hot glued in E6000 this into place and um for the wheels I took a wooden dowel and I just hot glued in E6000 my wheels into place and these are tins that I that you can get from any type of candle any container anything round you can use and I just basically hot glued them into place because I want them to go on like this. And um, I'm not going to paint this or anything. I mean, I am going to paint it. But um, I'm not going to paint it on camera. Um, because I think I want to do it black. Because my kitchen is black and red. And um, I want to put it in my kitchen to store my spices in. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video. Um, so what you're gonna need for this is a wooden, uh, some type of spoon, or you could do, use a wooden dowel if you want to make a handle. I have that. A pan, obviously, you're gonna need a pan. Some wooden dowels and some lids. E6000 in hot glue. And if you don't have E6000 and or hot glue, you can use double-sided tape, but make sure it's strong. I got, it's by Scotch, and it's extremely strong double-sided tape. If you want to use, if you don't want to use the hot glue and the E6000, so that's another option. So basically, I'm going to use both of the glues. I'm going to use the E6000 and the um, hot glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my E. I'm a first. I'm gonna place it and see about where I want it. So I'm gonna take my E6000, and this is a Gorilla Glue, and I am just gonna put a little here, and this is just gonna bond it, straw hold it permanently. Um, not said not that the hot glue won't. But I'm going to use the hot glue also, but I want to use this just for uh, added security to make sure that it holds. And I'm using a generous amount. And you definitely want to put the lid right back on or just going to ooze out all over the place. And we don't want that. And now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to go across the frame of this. And I am just going to go ahead and stick this right here. And I'm just going to hold it for a little bit, giving the hot glue time to do its thing. And there's one and now we'll do the other side gonna go ahead put 
put some hot, uh, some Gorilla E6000 glue down on it. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid right back on. I found out no matter what you do or how you try to prevent it, that glue just oozes out. And we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're just going to stick this down into place. i put it right here. And then I'm just going to hold it for a little bit to give the hot glue time to heat, uh, to cure so it will dry. And that this is about it. There's there's nothing major to this project there or to this craft. There it's it's very easy. And yeah. And there we have it. That's it. There there's nothing more, nothing less. This is this is it. And um and like I said, I am going to uh, paint this off camera because I need to I want to go get me some um, spray paint I was using for the one for I'm gonna grab this one for the one I made here I basically just used some um, acrylic paint that I got at Dollar Tree and um, I had to use like three three or four layers for it to actually stick to the pan so um I decided to just try spray paint and see how well that worked but um, I want to give this person credit but I don't remember what their names was but they told me that if you take a layer of Mod Podge um, I think it's called I want to make sure I say this right Mod Podge if you take a layer of that and um, coat this and then paint it the paint will stick better so I'm gonna try that out and see and then I'll let y'all know how how it went but this is what it looked like once I spray painted it. I mean, uh, excuse me, once I hand painted it with the acrylic paint. And here's the one that we just finished. I like the way it came out. I mean, kind of what I expected. Um, and then, um, like I said, I'm going to spray paint this. And, um... A lot of people in my crafting group was asking me what was I going to do with it. I'm going to set it in my kitchen. Right now, we have a small kitchen. My husband's remodeling it, but it's small for now. And um, I, ha I keep all my spices in the cabinet. But I always have to dig around and try to find them. And I, I have a lot of seasoning, but I have very few that's my favorite. So what I decided to do was take those seasonings and put them into my wagon and set it in my kitchen, you know, key corner in my cat in my the corner of my kitchen next to my stove on my countertop, because that way when I get ready to look for my seasonings, all I have to do is look in the wagon instead of looking in the cabinet. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. It wasn't very long. I'm trying to keep it where it's not like 40, 50 minutes long. But um, yeah, that's. That's it for that video. Like I said, it was super easy, super quick, super fun. And the thing about it is, is you can decorate it up to make it your own. You can spray paint it. You can leave it silver. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to put some siding on. I'm, um, I might spruce mine up a bit other than just paint it. Um, I may do something different. I don't know yet. I haven't decided what I wanted to do. But, yeah. Um... That's about it for this video. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And um, once again, I say this in every video. If you want to see me do any other type of video other than crafts, just let me know in the comment box below. If you want to ask me some more questions and have me answer them, you can also do that in the comment box below. Or you can do it on my um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, I do have a Twitter, but I don't do it very much with it. And I also have a Snapchat, and again, I don't do very much with it. I'm most active on my Instagram page and my Facebook page. 
But like I said, if you want to ask me any questions, feel free to do so down in the comment box below. I always try to go through and answer questions and to thank people that watch the video. So yeah, um, with that being said, I hope y'all all have a nice day. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.